Hello everyone, it's T-Shade back again with hot new tea. Daniels was accused for sexually assaulting Sydney May, but not many fans believe this accusation is true. Sydney May has been allegedly accused of sexually assaulting men in the past. All this was also the girl who broke Addison Ray and Bryce Hall up. But before we begin please follow this Instagram account. I got the first live view from this page. Let's hear what Chris Daniel has to say first. Remember, there's always two sides to one story. When I'm I sorry, open the door, close the door, you know what I'm saying? But like, I thought the door behind think? me closed and the separate sorry, door to where the toilet was. I, I was just sitting there peeing. As I'm peeing, she came watching. up on me and she started kissing Thank you all up and down my neck and everything like that. She started to go lower. Thank you all for watching. If you're younger, please, if you're young, I... Get, like, get out of the lives. This is like serious. This stuff. is this something very serious, serious that shouldn't this even have so to be said. Like in the fact that people are like questioning Chris, like trust me, like he's told this to his close friends the day after it happened. Like there's multiple people that night. Like There's asked, multiple other people that she did the same shit she did to me too. I'm not the only fucking person she did this to. Like that's what makes me so upset. There's people out here that don't fucking believe anything that's... Story, <laughs> five of this. We went to Florida for this New Year's. Um, hung out with a group of friends. One of Sydney's friends liked a guy. Um, Sydney ended up making out with a guy. There's a video of it. You okay, buddy? Take a glass of water. I love you. Um, Sydney ended up making out with a guy, her, her friend's crush. And there's a video of it. It was mutual. It was nothing crazy, like, oh, they kiss, you know what I'm saying? But her, she didn't want her friend to get mad. I walked into the bathroom um, after they kissed or whatever. They walked into the bathroom. I walked in there afterwards because, like, I'm just, a, I'm just a guy. Like, I want to make sure everyone's okay. So I walk in there. She's like blacking out, hitting her head on the thing. He, the guy, like, I'm not gonna mention the guy's name. Very respectful dude. Grabs her head and was like, hey, I'm gonna take care of you even though you're drunk. Like, I promise you I'm not gonna take advantage of you. Like, Pinky promised. Pinky promised her. I was literally watching him. They take her outside or whatever. Sydney goes to the, her friend and goes, oh my gosh, she sexually assaulted me and made out with me. Because she didn't want her friend to be mad. She made out with her friend's crush. Chris, like, this is a real thing that happened to Chris, and he's not even mentioning listen, her name and saying listen, it out there. And I, what, what I do want to say is, so for the people that don't believe me, I was, um, I was sexually assaulted as a kid growing up. My childhood was not the best. And, like, it's really affected me up until this day. I'm 17 years old, and I have to live with this stuff for the rest of my life. So for the fact that she's out here trying to say that I did this is... Take a deep breath. <gasps> It makes me so upset because it's I so never, unfair. Like, I would never so touch a girl. I would never do that in any way, shape, or form. And that. for her to, like, know. if you know me, you know who I am. You don't even have to personally know me. You can see through my videos. When I communicate with my supporters, you guys know I'm a genuinely nice guy. And I never want anything to happen to anybody. And I purposely didn't want this to go on social media because I know something like this would happen. I knew something was going to happen where people are going to take sides. And I didn't want somebody's platform to get taken away because I wanted them to learn from their mistakes. The person that's dot learning is continuing to do the same stuff to me and other people and it's affected my friend group a lot because there's probably three or four people in my friend group that she's tried and if not succeeded in doing this stuff to. Like there's multiple people we could bring up. Like I brought up another story in Florida. Like there's multiple guys that this happened to. The same night that this happened, she fucked, we can name two other guys but I'm not going to say that. It's not my and, business. And, and the thing, like can I, can I say it? Well, I, well, I wouldn't. There's no need to bring that into this. But, like, for example, like, we didn't even want to say this. There's more stuff that we get into that, like, is not okay. I genuinely don't want to have to say I, certain words. I don't want to have like, to say this stuff. We just want to address I have an, I, I have an audience who is very young. And I was experiencing things at a young age that not too many people should do. I do not want these people that are looking up to me as an idol and I cr as a creator and stuff like that to hear this stuff coming out of my mouth because they shouldn't have to know this. Nobody in social media, sorry. Celia, shut your damn mouth, please. Like what? I Listen, I came on here to tell you guys my side of the story. I don't want to go into full details because I, there's too, I, I can't do that. Like, I don't want to do that because it's, I don't even know what to say, dude. I'm sorry. I don't even. I don't even know. I, I don't even know why this is happening. I, I don't. It should. It shouldn't have been brought to social media. But listen, I love you guys. I want you guys to know that I'm not gonna let this stop me like from doing what I continue to do. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> to make music, I'm gonna to continue to try and better myself as a person and grow as a person because I know there's a lot of people who can't look themselves in the mirror and understand that they have things that they need to work on. And that's why we're put into positions like this because there's people who need to work on themselves and instead of doing that, they tear other people down.
Now let's look at what Sydney had to say. It was really hard and it was not the first time that I've been sexually harassed by him because the time we ever FaceTimed because the first time we ever FaceTimed because he was coming to LA, I guess, and we wanted to get to know each other. Um, he flipped the camera around and showed me his, you know, his penis and he was masturbating. And I, he's like, did you see that? I was like, no, my eyes were closed. And he flipped it around again and kept going. It was, it's not the first time that he, he um, for I'm sorry that's all I got, but what do you all think? Thank you all for watching.